in and out, in and out. As this one continues, the bulge here that gives the puckering effect has been removed. So I'm going to show you the neck, the shoulder, the armhole. Let me open up. We'll see from the inside out. This is how you want it to be on the inside. Okay, welcome to the sewing part of this video. By now, you should have watched how we drafted the pattern and cut everything on fabric. So what we're going to be focusing on in this video is how to join up all these parts together. So um, cut your lining and iron your interface into all the upper bodices. Um, for the lower bodice, the interfacing will be ironed just to the zip area. You can see that to just the zip area, I've even gone ahead to fold it so that um, it's crisp and it helps me um, plan the whole cutting and sewing. So here is the front bodice. What we're going to do is to use your pin or um, anything that will help you transfer the end of the dart. So I'm poking a pin through and I'm going to mark that point. So I'll transfer the point there. And also right here. You can use a disappearing ink pen, um, a chalk, whatever works for you. I'll remove the pins now. So I'm going to use my ruler to connect these points together, the dark leg. So we'll do the same to the lining, then we'll start joining it up. And then what I'm going to do is take the darts together and pin from the top, making sure that the pin goes through this line like it matches up the two lines that we just drew together. It should come in through both of them. So let's check to confirm. Now I'll just take my needle and thread. Thread your needle and I want you to start sewing just based, based on the line. In and out, in and out, in and out. You do not need to knot the end of the thread that way and you also want to check that it's going through where it should on the other side so i'm going to just move it up just a little bit because if i stop exactly at that point it will give me a puckering feel a puckering edge so Okay, so we'll go on to paste this other side as well as the lining. Mark on the lining and do your basting as well. Okay, so we have our bodices ready to be joined with the lining. I'll start. I'll start with the front bodices where we basted so do not back stitch this end you're going to be tying a knot there so here is what it looks like you want it to go to nothing no puckering feeling so you can see that even with the waist that is giving you some volume, we can then um, 
remove the basting stitch so we'll do the same to this other part remove the basting thread there on this other side and then knot it so once you're done with that we can join up the other so taking the back for this we're going to remove the pattern then matching right sides to right side you're going to sew the sewing allowance we left which is about half an inch Once you're done sewing up everything, what you're going to do is you're going to open up an iron. So you get it to your ironing table, open up the seams, that's this seam here. You're going to open it up this way and then iron it flat. So the next step for us to do is to insert the zip at the back. We have the two back pieces finished this way. You can see that um, zipper excess taking away. That's why it's not matching as this one continues. The bulge here that gives the puckering effect has been removed. So I'm going to show you how to attach your back, um, zipper seamlessly to the two back pieces this way. Now this is the zip we're going to be using for this um outfit so what we're going to do is first of all place your zip and measure where you want the zip to stop i've been wanting the zip to get to about here so i'll pin this place up here okay that means the zip will be starting from the top and getting here i'll be having this excess there that's fine then I'm going to be sewing from that part to how much I'm going to be closing up before the opening of the slit at the bottom. So you can use your measuring tape to measure the length you want before the slit begins. So I'll put my measuring tape, I'll put my measuring tape on the shoulder there and let's measure. So I'm using the zip to be about 23 inches here and I'll just continue till it gets to about 35 to 36 inches. Between 35 and 36 inches that's when the slit will now begin from. Let me make it 36. The dress length is up to 55. You know I extended it because this is like a midi Middle length is a 55 there. So I'll just let it get here. We'll pin that part. So after that has been sewn close, then we'll go ahead to see how to install the zip at the top there. <laughs> We're going to get the zip and pin it up. So this is the zip here. Face it, that's this right side that you're looking at that has the zipper head, right? Add it face to the table and then all the wrong side is facing you. You can also as well as open it up and then put it the same way I just spoke about. Such that you're picking up this part that is folded. 
from this way I am pinning the zip to align to this crease line now that you have done the crease line it's going to be very okay to um, align and to plan it out nicely so just keep pinning to align with the crease line Once you have pinned up this side, we want to pin up this side now to just this, you open it up, okay, open up the zipper allowance that you folded and then align the zipper teeth to the crease line that is created there, just align it to that crease line and start pinning. The crease line and pin. So, this is what you should be having once you're done pinning this way. Let's see. that way and then you can check to see make sure that the line here if you have a joining please try as you're sewing to make sure that it meets and this is how it's going to be enclosed and if you sew that way you're not even sewing on the outer part of the zip but it's going to be hidden so i'll show you how to sew let's go over to the sewing machine the first thing we need to do is change the zipper foot. So, so here is the zipper foot we're going to be using. Um, you can use it for invisible zipper and also for the enclosed zipper sewing technique. So, if you're putting the zipper teeth to the left hand side this way, so feed it to the sewing machine and we'll start sewing. So once you get to the bottom there, you can move the zip out of the way so that just close it up this way so that you can keep going. Okay, so the first part of the zip has been sewn, so we'll go to the next part. So what I want to do first of all is to make sure that I'm matching up these two lines. These two lines are matching up. So you can see that it's on a straight, perfectly straight line, that half length. That means that we can now we adjust the bottom part. Okay, so we're going to iron now, after which we're going to then start joining the lining to the main fabric. So we have the two pieces of lining for the back. We're going to attach this to this side. To attach, you're going to be sewing it to the neckline. Just sew only the neckline area from here 
to this part, leave the shoulder, leave the armhole, and then you attach the lower part as well to the hem here. Okay, so you put the lower part to the hem. Remember that this lining is two inches shorter than the main fabric, so that's what we do. You do the same for the other side. You get your lining and attach it to the neck. And after you attach it to the neck, just attach it to the bottom and attach just the neck this way. So once you have done that, you do that for the two back pieces. And you take the front. Here's the front. We have sewn up the um, that on the front. We're going to attach it to the neck. Attach it to the neck. Right side facing right side. This way. And then you go to the bottom and attach the bottom of the lining to the hem of the dress this way so we have joined up the neck area with the lining this is how it's going to be on the front and on the wrong side so you're going to leave the sides exposed this way remember we only joined up the neck and the hem so there's going to be this um, folding, like the fabric coming in, because that was the reason why we cut it shorter. And then the next thing you want to do is, after you've ironed it, you want to notch the corners this way. So you notch here, the corner here. That will help you when you're joining back and front together and then you notch the other side this way for the back we have done the same thing as well we have sewn the neck area you're going to leave the zipper parts exposed that's you've not yet joined the lining to the zipper area for the two sides so you only joined the neck of the left and the right back you see how crisp that you join you iron it neatly and you have only joined the bottom as well so you see after ironing it is going to have that um, overlapping so notch the corners the same way we did for the front this way okay let's move on to the next step for the next step we'll need to unzip the back we're working on the back for the next step after unzipping the back, you know we have this place open. What you want to do is um, put it this way. I want to sew the right side of the lining to the right side of this zipper allowance. So let me take that again. So let me do it to face us for the next step. This is how we have it on the back now. The zipper allowance and the raw finish of the lining this way. So what you're going to do is go in through the side, put your hand through the side, and then you want to take both this one and this one, these two parts here. You want to bring it out from the side, and then you want to sew the lining catching you're sewing the lining you're sewing the zipper tip and you're sewing the zipper allowance the zipper cloth um you're sewing the lining you're sewing the zipper cloth here and then you're sewing this fabric right you want to make sure that the three pieces are caught in the stitch so you're going to be stitching from that top there okay you stitch from the top from the neck you stitch 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 and you stop where this zip stops here
okay so this is how it's going to be now after you've sewn it all the raw seams will be on the inside of your garment here you won't be able to see it all the raw seams will be on the inside everything will be here you'll be able to see it here but not on the right side so the same thing you do here from this top you are pinning the three pieces the three layers lining fabric and zip So stop where this zip ends. Yeah. So let's sew those parts first, then we'll come back. We have also done this, just push this out. And this is what we're going to be having on the upper part, right? You can see it's joined nicely and neatly, just the sides open and the lower part open as well. So we want to move over to the lower part. How do we go about closing it up? Okay, so now we have joined up the upper part up onto where the zip stops. So for the lower part, what we're going to do is we're going to be sewing this close. So put your hand through one of these openings, right? This is how you should have it. This is the whole bottom that is open. It's just the part that has the zip that is enclosed. So put your hand through, right? You want to match up to that point and stop where you stopped on this fabric, right? You're going to be sewing this one independent of the main fabric. So let me explain again. So here's the stitch of the zip here. So what we're going to do is we're going to put the lining on that part there and just pin only the lining there. That's where we're going to be sewing from. Then move it down to see where that slit opens up. You're going to close up that part. Close from where the zip stops to where that slit opens up, which is just about here. If you look at it, so I'll pin there too. So what I can do is, since I know it's one inch, I will put my hand inside this way. Pin that place. Then go to that top there, where I put the pin through. Yeah. I'll go there, put my hand through the inside as well. And pin that place too. I hope you get it. You can still put it this way so that you can see what you're doing. I hope you get what I mean. Just the lining
So we'll have to iron this part properly to relax before we then go finally to this last part of the puzzle. But let's iron this middle part properly first. Okay, so now we have the back piece here. We are joining everything up gradually. Um, the zipper side has been enclosed. And then we enclosed this part. We sewed it from the inside. So you can see that I also went ahead to iron it. Open it up this way on the inside of the garment and iron it. So all that part has been neatly done. So what we have left now is this lower part that will act like the slit. And all we need to do for that one is put our hand from the inside and then sew the lower part as the slit, the lining and the uh, main fabric. I remember the part where you notched here. You can see the notch parts, that's where the fold will be. And then you run a stitch through this crease line. That's how we'll finish the back part. So once that part has been completed and fully sewn, the next thing to do is now get the front fabric that we have finished sewing earlier. You now for this one, we just joined the neck and the hem. Okay, so what we'll do is get this one. Now placing front on back or back on front, right? Right sides facing right sides this way. We want to now join up the sides. Now to join up the sides, we're not going to join lining and side together. What we're going to do is take this main fabric, match it up from the waistline, and join up from here. So this is how you do it. Let me explain. You saw your sewing allowance. Mine is one inch. I sew from there. I sew to the hip. This way, I'm removing the lining out of the way. I'm sewing all the way to the bottom. This way, till I get to this notch point. So these two notch points will match up together this way. Once it matches up, you continue sewing. Then you get to the lining. You continue. You continue sewing. Continue sewing right that way until you get to the other end. So that way everything is enclosed. That's how we're going to join up the sides. So once you are done with the sides, the final part is to sew up the shoulder. For the shoulder, we'll use one of the shoulders to enclose the other. Like this, and then you sew the shoulder closed this way so that's how we do and then when we turn it inside out it's hidden so that's the step everything should be properly enclosed the only part that will be left open is the have armhole so let's enclose everything and then i'll show you how it looks okay so we have finished everything the neck the shoulder, the armhole, let me open up, we'll see it from the inside out. This is how you want it to be on the inside, just the armhole that you based. So, look at that, see, by the time you pull it out from here, Everything is enclosed, but with enclosed sewing technique, you have to make sure that your measurement is intact. So you see, that's the side, that's why I said it continues, and this is why it's opening up this way. You see, you're continuing the stitch, right? And here too, this is how you have the slit, crisp. Finished properly. The back. 
see the lines like all these details matters a lot we'll now go ahead to fixing the sleeve whatever sleeve of choice you are using just fixing the sleeve and we are done with this tutorial let me know if you have any question in the comments below and you know practice uh, makes perfect <laughs> Practice makes perfect, so you just need to keep trying your hands on the enclosed sewing technique, and before you know it, you'd have um, gotten your way or you'd have found your way around it. All right, so we've come to the end of today's video. If you do have any questions, let me know in the comments below, and I'll be sure to answer them. All right, so we'll see you in the next tutorial. Stay safe, God bless you all. Bye.